introduction to hydroponics. Although hydroponics has been around for centuries, it's important to note that one man brought hydroponics to the forefront. Dr. William Frederick Gerke was one of the first pioneers of hydroponics and actually gave the science of soilless gardening the name hydroponics. In a Time Magazine article on March 1, 1937, during the Depression, he was asked, did he expect to do well with hydro? Dr. Gerke just smiled and showed his two golden teeth. Let's rewind time and go back to the beginning of the century and the history of hydroponics. Hydroponics, which means working water, hydro meaning water and ponos meaning labor from the Greek word, is not a new science. In fact, it's been around since the BC era. Around 600 BC, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon were hydroponically based gardens that are now one of the natural wonders of the world. In 1100 AD, the Aztecs of Mexico created floating gardens called chinampas. These gardens worked directly with the water from the lake and produced bountiful harvests and fed entire cities that floated on top of lakes. Even the ancient Egyptians were involved in hydroponic gardening. Let's fast forward to recent history. During World War II, soldiers stationed on non growable islands were fed from local hydroponic systems. Islands such as Iwo Jima and Okinawa were sustained by hydroponic gardens. By 1952, 8 million pounds of food were grown to help sustain Allied soldiers as they assaulted the Japanese Armada. Later in the century, hydroponics was integrated into the NASA space program. Even plans for living off Earth on possibly the moon or in space stations were developed. Let's fast forward to today. Commercial farmers seek to end world hunger, make the world cleaner, and reduce carbon footprints by branching into new fields such as aeroponics and even aquaponics. The following is a clip of some of the possibilities that hydroponics and aquaponics can provide to the future of food. <laughs> 